Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today we're making naso miso or miso glazed aubergine. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurgut. Like I mentioned, we're making aubergine glazed with miso and it's gonna to be topped with katsu bushi. It's a great recipe for my friends in Vienna from Mochi. But before we have a look at the ingredients, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the favor, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes live. Now let's have a look at the board. So I have pre-prepared the, the miso sauce or the miso glaze. It's basically miso, mirin, sake and sugar. I'll show you how we did that quickly. For our miso sauce, we need four ingredients. 60 grams of white miso paste, 20 grams of mirin, 20 grams of sake, cooking sake, and 30 grams of sugar. We put all of this together in one pot. Last but not least, the sugar. And now we're gonna put this on the stove bring it to a boil, then turn it down and let it simmer for like four to five minutes. So onto the stove and bring it to a boil. I'm not gonna film that, I'll show you here afterwards. As you can see now it's boiling. Now this is twofold. We want to obviously kind of let the sauce come together, the sugar to melt, but we also want the alcohol in the mirin and in the sake to evaporate. So now on a small heat or little heat, or low heat even, we cook that for about four to five minutes. And that's it. All that's left is to fill it into one of these bottles. Well, you don't have to, but if you have one, it makes it easier afterwards. And that's our miso glaze ready. Very easy, you just need five minutes. Except for that, we have some um, chives, just chopped. We have some katsuobushi, bonito flakes, and we have our aubergines. Uh, quite small, but that's nice like that. You could, um, normally if you have the big aubergines, one half is kind of enough for two people as a side dish, but these you can serve uh, one half for one person, so that's good. And the first thing we need to do, well, you also need potato starch. I'm not showing it here because it's not a very interesting ingredient, but you need either potato, corn, or rice starch. I'm using potato starch. Let's start with the aubergine. And it's really not a lot we have to do. You just split the aubergine in half and that's it. It's nothing more, nothing less to it. That's all we need to do with the aubergine except put it in um, potato starch. And I also have a pot there with the oil in it heating up already because that always takes a while. It needs to get to about 180 degrees. So the next thing we'll do is we we'll just dip this in starch. And here, there's nothing special either. It's just this surface here that we need to starch. We don't want too much on it, but something like this is perfect. Same with the other two. Make sure there's not too much starch on it. And once the oil is at temperature, we're ready to fry them. So I'm gonna move the camera over so you can see that. I'll see you in a minute or so, and we're gonna fry it. So we're now up for temperature. I'm gonna drop them in. We'll do them two at a time, I think. And now all you need to do is wait. Uh, probably after four minutes or so, once they start to get a little bit of color, we can turn them. We'll do another three minutes maybe on this side. Now these are ready, we can take them out and then fry our next batch. But I won't bore you with that. So we'll just uh, cut to the board. We have our aubergine on an oven tray. I'm only doing one now, the rest is for my family later. 
put your oven on the grill function at around 180 degrees Celsius. Take your miso sauce. And just cover the top of the aubergine. It's going to go on the side, so don't worry about it, but like that. And now we put this in the oven. And when you see that it starts to bubble, you have to keep an eye on it. Probably maybe two minutes. When it starts to bubble, take it out again. I'll see you in two minutes. So now this is hot. And there's not much left to do. But before we do those steps, if you stuck with it this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you a second, but it would mean so much to me. So please. Now, we will kind of dress it here because it's going to be a bit messy. First, you go with your chives. Nice amount. And then last but not least, our katsubushi. I don't know if you know this, but Katsubushi has an amazing ability of starting to dance once it's getting warm. I want to build it a bit in height. Let's see if I can get my hands off. And you see how it's moving? I'll try to zoom in so you can see it. I love that about Katsubushi. Now, Last step, get this on our plate. Get rid of this. And there we go, our naso miso, our miso baked aubergine with katsubushi on top. Let's take it. Now the goal with this is that you should be able to eat it with a spoon. And you are. And you know, if you want to make this, you can easily make this into a vegetarian dish. You just don't put the katsubushi at the end. But you still have a wonderful dish. So much umami. Both the miso and the katsubushi. You know, I don't cook that many kind of vegetable dishes only, but this is it's really good. And even kind of gives you a not a meaty texture, but it's a it's a meaty dish somehow. Perfect as a side dish. Or maybe as a vegetarian dish, a bit bigger, if you use a bigger um, aubergine. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. Um, ah, and if you're not a subscriber yet, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. Now it's time to say goodbye. Take care. Bye-bye.